Dynamic Seminars, the management and training consultancy presents Southern Africa's leading success lecturers. I do not take myself terribly seriously. What I do take seriously is I do take your time seriously. And one of the things that we are going to have today, that I assure you, is an incredible amount of fun. Just by show of hands, who in the audience here has recently become a supervisor or a manager? Just by show of hands. OK, just, just keep those hands up over there. Uh, could I just have your, it's Andrew. Andrew. I want to know if I've got your story right. We will, we will admit that we've never actually met before. But what happened with Andrew is Andrew was the best. Andrew, what were you the best at? Uh, managerial consultant for ICAS. He was a managerial consultant, was Andrew. And on one particular morning, Andrew got a message to please, repeat, re to please report himself to the office of a senior manager. On reporting to the office of the senior manager, he noticed for amongst the first time that the senior manager actually had a very broad smile. The door was open for Andrew. Not only was the door open for Andrew, but what Andrew also noticed is that the fancy chair that used to be behind the senior manager's desk was now on this side of the desk with a second fancy chair. Also, there was a tray the tray had cookies on it, the tray had tea, coffee, and a half cocked open bottle of Klipdrif Met Aish. <laughs> and for one of the first times, the senior manager also turned around to Andrew and said, Andrew, tell me about your family, which Andrew did. And he started talking about how Andrew is the best thing since bread met butter, or chewing gum. And in the middle of this tirade, the senior manager put out his hand and said, Andrew, congratulations, you are promoted. And Andrew externally went, yeah. But internally went, oh no. <laughs> because here was a highly competent, effective managerial consultant who was in a flash of a moment turned into company damagement, I, I mean management. <laughs> Here was a young man who now, who was so adept and so effective at what he'd always been doing, who find himself playing a game that I used to play, Andrew, when I was 10 years of age. At the age of 10, I had a best friend. This best friend ran faster than I did. This best friend threw the ball further than I did and certainly punched harder than I did. Her name was Natalie. <laughs> Natalie and I were buddies, and Natalie and I, we were great friends. There was competition, sure, but what actually happened on this particular day, it was my birthday, my 10th birthday, and Mom and Dad went out and bought me the most magic birthday present I could ever imagine. It was a fireman's outfit. It had boots. There was a jacket. There was a helmet, and there was a badge that said, Chief. I loved my fireman's outfit. I used to run around in the fireman's outfit, attach a hose to the tap in the garden, going, woo, woo, woo. I thought I was putting out fires, but in actual fact, my parents were very intelligent. They were getting me to water the lawn. <laughs> I'm told that Natalie's parents did not like the idea that I had been spoilt. So they went out and bought Natalie a nurse's uniform. Natalie pitched up at my home. Now I need you to understand something. I was 10 years of age. I was wearing a fireman's uniform. I had a hose pipe. Natalie walked in. I went woo, woo, woo around the garden chasing after Natalie. Natalie was a clever girl. Natalie ran indoors, but my enthusiasm got the better of me. I chased her indoors into the lounge with my hosepipe. 
until my parents cut off my water supply. I've never played that game again, and Andrew, you may well have played that game when you were young, but now you have the opportunity, now that you've been recently promoted, to also be a fireman with a fireman's outfit. And that is why, pretty cheekily, I say, if we want to make a highly competent, highly effective individual almost instantaneously silly, make them a manager. And the reason why I say that is because what is very typical of managers all around the world is that they are all highly competent, highly effective, highly skilled in the work that they've always done. But now they're asked to be managers. And as they're asked to be managers, maybe so many of them lose sight of why it is that we are actually in business. Now, I cannot read your minds, that I absolutely assure you. But I would imagine that if I were to ask you the question today, why is every single organization in business? I would get the answer, we're in business to make money. And you know what? That's not the right answer. That's the offshoot or the consequence of doing business effectively. The actual reason why we are in business, ladies and gentlemen, is because we are in business to satisfy the need. The need that was created by the marketplace. Or the need, if you like, that may have be, even been identified by some sort of entrepreneur. And as this entrepreneur or the marketplace identified this need, what we reckoned is the following. I tell you what, if we're in a service type of industry, what we are going to do is we are going to endeavor to exceed the identified need. 